This saga puts the P in pandemic. In March of 2020, this woman matches with a gentleman on both Facebook dating and Hinge. He's using variations of his name. She decides to allow this gentleman to quarantine in her three bedroom townhome deriving from his studio apartment. She later finds that his career as a VP, all of his promises to purchase them a home after becoming married, all for the life of his twin brother. What intrigued her about the gentleman was his willingness to take on the provider role, paying all of the bills, and he would also take her around to luxury car dealerships and make promises of purchases that never eventually came to pass. It was almost as if he had an infatuation or he was enticed, turned on by Indian giving, by not following up on his promises. In her story, the gentleman is described as a pathological liar, which is someone who lies for absolutely zero reason at all. The fairy tale is what one would describe it as. He was born in Philadelphia and moved to Augusta, played arena football, and on January 5th, 2020, just months after quarantining together, they get married. However, by January 31st, she describes her marriage as mentally over. She understands that she realizes that she has made a mistake. However, she's already gone through with this process and we already know how divorces work. One of the promises that the husband made was that he had been approved for a $750,000 mortgage. He was showing her both the mortgage approval and his bank account statements for an offshore bank account he referred to it as. Way later in the story, she goes through his book bag and she finds that the offshore account statement that she was seeing was only a screenshot. However, during the duration of their very short marriage, he had gotten this woman's hopes up at least four houses worth of times for a screenshotted bank account. After doing what most women would do, such as Google searches, she found documents online and she began to reach out to family members. She found homegoing service information and she looked at siblings and it wasn't adding up. She found out that the four brothers that he stated he had simply did not exist. The younger brother that he stated he had simply was not his younger brother. It was his twin by 20 minutes. He actually had a twin who was older than him by 20 minutes. His two sisters, Shantae and Kim, were never his sisters. Kim was his cousin and Shantae still hasn't been spoken for. She was convinced because he'd been taking her out to meet people, but she came to later find that even his aunt that he had introduced her to was just his mother's friend, who his brother disliked. He claimed that he had stepchildren from his previous wife that he still communicated with. He eventually stated that both his grandmother and one of the stepdaughters passed away from COVID. She later found that both of those dates of deceased were incorrect. He also professed that he had such a respect for law enforcement officers because his father was in law enforcement, a pastor, and his mother was a teacher. She later found that he had to commit to weekend detention because he had been impersonating a police officer utilizing his father's correctional officer badge. His brother later stated that his father was the farthest thing from a preacher that you could get. He became bedridden because of what he stated was an injury due to his arena football. And she eventually found where he was utilizing Powerade Gatorade bottles to go to the restroom in her home. At that point, she made him get out. He got in his car and he drove all the way from their home in Georgia to Philly, where he continued to lose weight and just completely become deplorable. Because he had no money, the VP story was his brother's life. Earlier in the story, she found a different social security number on a job application than that was on her wedding certificate. She eventually became concerned about him because she couldn't find him. And at that point, she found out that he had actually checked himself into the hospital so that he would have a place to stay. 
He had left all of his expensive watches and some of his collectibles at the house, and someone put a bug in his ear that he could come back. When he attempted to come back, she then got assistance, and when they came, they found out that he had a VOP somewhere else, and he was escorted away from our property. This is blue on me.